Okay, in this part we're um, going to create a scrolling background. Now I've used um, another asset from... Um, I'll just show you which one. From game from the game dev market. Again, I'll put this um, this link up um, in the description, and it it's like about five six layers of different things, and and it should give a give us a nice effect when it comes to scrolling along the screen. So download that, and um, when you've got that, just come back to here. So um, what we need to do, this is the folder that it comes in. Now um, I'm going to say, right, so I'll have to do this off screen because it'll it gets in the road. So th this one's called layer one. Now see where that where it's put that it's put it up there and we don't want it there we want it in the the background layer. And then we'll grab background number layer two and we want that one below layer one. And as you can see, because it's a perfectly tiled background, it, it'll um, it'll work on the whole whole level. So we'll come to um, layer three background, and by default, for some reason, it keeps trying to put it in the foreground. So make sure you put these in order. At the moment, it does look like they are a bit, um, they're a bit beak for my liking. And this is layer four. Again, drag that below layer three. Um, then we've got layer five. Again, below there. Now, what I'm going to do is start resizing these because they they all seem a bit big. Now, to resize this, make sure you have it selected, and then you're going to see this um, this circle. When when you're in the circle, you can move that up and down. Why it's why it's jumping like that is because I've got snapping on. If I take snapping off, it will move move um, smoothly. But I like it on because it, it helps keeps things more organised. So, but to resize it, I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to hold the shift key down this time, and that gives it a much more By the looks of things, I reckon um, 0.5. We'll go 0.5 on this. And we will move it down a bit. Next layer, we'll go 0.5 again. Control C, Control V, Enter. Um, we'll go to level three again. Control V, Control V.
layer 4 Layer 5 And we'll just leave that one there Right, we probably need to drag in I'll drag in a, a sun Well that would, this is the sun layer in the as a background, so layer 6 will go in behind there and I'm thinking again, maybe point 0.3 this one oh, because it's tiling right, so we're better off just leaving it 1 there And the next one I want to bring in is actually um, the clouds, which is level 7, but I'm thinking the clouds are going to look better in front. As you can see there, we'll just drag this down in front of the... And the final one we want to put in is background 9. So we'll just um, background, and this will go right to the very back. And as you can see, it's um, a fully, um, fully tileable background, looks good. Now what we want to do is have these backgrounds um, scrolling at different rates. So the foreground is the highest speed. So we'll say that we'll leave that at one. The next one will go um, because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do it in increments of um, of point two, so that'll be point eight. I oh, will just show. We'll just look now. We'll leave it everything at at one and show you what what happens when you when you actually do that. So if you take a look at the background, you can see everything is moving all at once. There's no difference between the foreground and the and the background. Rightio, so now we'll um layer two we'll we'll set this at, at Point, point eight set this one at point seven point six point five Point four, point three, and the background we'll just leave at at, at one because it's not really going to move. It's just a gradient. So we'll just test that again to have a look at um, how the background scrolls. And as you can see, they they're all coming up really nicely. 
But one thing I'm noticing, see how um, that's all lifted. Um, like everything looks like it's not in the right place. But it does have a really nice scrolling effect. So we'll come down to here and this is probably where I'm a little bit um, shady on what what I should do about this. Um, I'm not sure if I have, I know it's got something to do with this. Hopefully somebody will post how you really sh should do it. So I'm just going to pull the, this is the games frame again with that that on there and we'll just try that again to see if that raises it up. No, it doesn't do that. Maybe um, it's got to come up a lot more. And pull that down a bit more. We'll just keep playing around. Ah, now see, that's where um, it's um it's come down so it's got something to do with that so we'll keep adjusting it now the only thing wrong with that is he's dead smack in the middle of the of the um, camera which brings up where I really want I want it um, this to be down to the bottom of here so we'll try a few more things I'm not sure if it's because I need to Drop that down there. Right, so I've got the bottom of the um, platformer in the right place. But, by the looks of things, I need to bring down all my um, my background layers by quite a fair bit. So that's what we'll do next. Just alter that. Now this is a, it's a bit of messing around till you get the right angle. See that's still not down low enough. So it's going to have to come down quite a fair bit. So. Right, so now where I've got it is um, pretty close to where I want the rest of them. So I can use that as like a like a, a benchmark um, for where the others can sit and for the moment let's just hide this guy okay we'll move this guy down
Okay, so we'll uncover that. We'll press that, and yes, that's what we want. So that's all scrolling nicely, everything looks great. Okay, I'll leave the tutorial there for now. Um, in the next part, we'll work on um, tile sets. So instead of this big blocky single block, we'll put in, um, we'll we'll download some tile sets and start using those. Okay, just hang in there, guys. We're still going.